guys it's plenty with Trivi here I'm back today to show you guys my Hoya collection I have about 40 Hoyas in my collection I've been collecting them since year 2020 when the pandemic first hit us and also I'm gonna pot up my philodendron and pink princess so stay tuned for that hey guys so this first Hoya is called Hoya Kamingiana I hope I'm saying it right Hoya Kamingiana and I have it in this chunky mix here has some like a uh, orchid bark um just a little bit of soil but it's been growing in this medium pretty good but yeah hoya comingiana i will also put the blooms next to every hoya that i show you so you can see what the blooms look like once they do bloom Next up is my Hoya Ruby, and I have her in Lekka. She just put out a new stem here. I don't know if you can see that. She just put out that stem, and it has a little leaf on it already coming in. And this is called Hoya Ruby, and she gets very red under grow lights. Hoya Ruby. grown in like a next up is Hoya Ingli Rihanna Hoya Ingli Rihanna I just love how small the leaves are grown in Flobo Hoya Ingli Rihanna I'll put the name up top for you. Next up is Hoya Rotunda Flora. Hope I'm saying it right. Hoya Rotunda Flora. I love the foliage on this plant. It's very unique. also grown in Lekka and it's doing pretty good in Lekka it did put out some new baby leaves Hoya Rotundiflora next up is Hoya AH074 Hoya AH074 grown in Lekka. She also has a new leaf coming in. By the way, this is a new leaf right here. And there's another one coming in in there. Can you see that? I love the splash on the leaves. Grown in Lekka. Looks like I need to top this off some water for your AH074 next up is Hoya sigillatus she is stressed see how red some of the leaves are she also lives on my shelf with the LD LED lights grow lights Hoya sigillatus these are newer leaves here grown in orchid bark perlite worm castings a little bit of soil Hoya sigillatus, grown in a terracotta pot. Up is this Hoya polyneura fishtail Hoya. 
she just put out these new leaves over here and this stem over here also grown in Lekka she lives right up under my grow lights on the shelf she's doing very well Hoya Polinera Fishtail Hoya guys here's my Hoyer Linares has some new growth there at the top grown in Flobo Hoya Linares Is Hoya Suensis has some new leaves coming in right there that's another new one and there's a ped peduncle here where the blooms come in at and this is Hoya Suensis grown in Fluval My Hoya Kadada Sumatra. Beautiful leaves. Hoya Kadada Sumatra has a peduncle here. It did bloom once for me. Got it hanging from the ceiling here. Hoya Kadada Sumatra. Here's my Hoya Wilbur's Grave. No. I think that's what, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Hoya Wilbur's Graves. Carnosa. Grown on this trellis. Hoya Wilbur Graves. I think. I think that's what it's called. is Hoya Sarawak. Look how big those leaves are. Beautiful stress color on it. Hoya Sarawak. I will put the name up top for you. Grown in like a Hoya Sarawak. little container I have the Hoya called Louis Louis Buis Bella Variegata. I'll show you what that looks like this is what she's looking like look at those variegated leaves I have her in sphagnum moss on a heat mat can't wait for her to get bigger Louis Buis Bella Variegated. Next up is Hoya Tangimus. Hoya Tangimus. Also grown in Lekka. Hoya Tangimus. This Hoya is called Hoya 
Dagii. I love the shape of the leaves here. Shaped like a heart, upside down heart. It's a little dry because I just put it in this pond. It looks like it needs to be chopped off already. But yeah, this is Hoya Dekii. I do have another one. If I can find that, I'll show you that one as well. another small leaf Hoya that I lost the name for if you guys know what this is comment down below it's putting out new leaves here grown and fluval let me know if you know what this is comment down below Next up is this Hoya Eskira. Hoya Eskira. This plant also gets sun stressed, grown in Leica. Around this trellis, Hoya Eskira. What's up is this Hoya. I totally forgot the name of it. If you guys know what this Hoya is, please comment down below. She's putting out new leaves. This stem is new. It's, she just put this stem out. Um, this is called I Don't Know. No ID Hoya. If you know what this is, please comment down below. Is my Hoya Matilde. Hoya Matilde. She's also putting out some new leaves. You can see that. Some over here. And there's a little tiny one there. Hoya Matilde. I thought I saw a peduncle on here too. Uh, yep. Can you see that? It's a little peduncle right there. Hoya Matilde. Next up is Hoya Dinner Plate Latfolia. Hoya dinner plate like folia grown in fluval and pond. Has a huge leaf. That's why they call it dinner plate like folia. Next up is Hoya Saba. I hope I'm saying it right. Hoya Saba. Look at that large veiny leaf. Grown in pond and fluval. Got this as a cutting. Still waiting for it to root. I don't notice any roots right now. Hoya Saba. Hey guys, this is variegated carry eye. Hoya variegated carry eye. This is a new leaf, it's still smooth and soft. Grown in Leica.
Hoya variegated carry eye. Can't wait till she gets big and viney. Tall and viney. Variegated carry eye. Hoya fungi. Hope I'm saying it right. Hoya fungi. Grown in pond. Need to top this off as well. Hoya fungi. Hoya fungi. Next up is Hoya Michelle. This leaf that just came out has a little bit of splash on it. And that stem is no, just that's a new stem right there. Hoya Michelle has a little bit of stress on her. Grown in Lekka as well. Also needs to be topped off. Hoya Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> Next up is Hoya Sergioensis. Hoyas Sergioensis. This is a newer leaf. Also got burnt from the grow light. I just noticed this must have just happened. Hmm. Hoya Sergioensis, grown in Lekka. Here's another Hoya. I can't remember the name of. Maybe you might know what this is. If you do, comment down below. Drone and Pawn. Here's another one I cannot remember the name for the life of me, but I love this. I got it from Takadell's. I love the splashing on it. I know you guys know what this is. Please comment down below. Um, I just cannot think of the name that's growing on this trellis. Next up is this Hoya. I also forgot the name of. Let's just put out this new leaf here. If you know what this Hoya is, please comment down below. I'm not sure what this is. Have it grown in Lekka. Next up is Hoya Sunrise. Look how beautiful and red those leaves are. 
Oya Sunrise. Grown and flowable. Can't wait for her to get big. Hoya Sunrise. Up is Hoya Viola. Hoya Viola. This is a newer leaf. Hoya Viola. Grown in Lekka. Hoya Viola. There's two dots here from the. They got burnt on the grow lights. The plant is still growing good. And like a Hoya Viola. Is this Hoya Obovado? I just planted up in one of my videos. Hoya Obovado. Grown in my airway mix. Oh, yeah, oval bottom. Next up is Hoya Jennifer. I love how big the leaves are and veiny they are. This Hoya also gets stressed. And it's also grown in Lekka. Hoya Jennifer. Hey guys, here's another Hoya that I just recently got and I forgot the name of it. It starts, it's island something. But I just got this and it, it has a little sun stress, not sun stress, um, stress on it from the LED lights. It has a little splash on the leaves. Have it grown in this fluval substrate with a little bit of pond at the bottom. You can see those roots come in right there. Got this as a cutting. Next up is Hoya Ganung Gating. Hoya Ganung Gating. She just put out this new leaf. And there's another leaf coming in here on the stem. And she is growing in Fluval substrate this is Hoya Ganungating up is Hoya Croiana I don't know if I'm saying that right Hoya Croiana grown in pond Hoya Crowiana. This Hoya is a slow grower for me. It did put out some new leaves, but they come in slow. I do notice a little stem down there. Hoya Crowiana. Next up is this Hoya Sarawak. I'm not sure if this is the pink blooms or the white Hoya Sarawak. Grown in fluval and pond. Hoya Sarawak. Love how big and veiny the leaves are.
Next up is Hoya Lyman. Again, I'll put the name up top. And this is a new leaf here. It just came in. Hoya Lyman. Crown and Pond. And Flugel. Hoya Lyman. This is Hoya Ricardo. It has a little leaf coming in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. And I need to top this off. There's no water in here. When you have a baby leaf, you have to keep the plant topped off with water if it's in like a you can't keep the soil dry if it's in soil because the leaf will fall off. You can also mist it. This is Hoya Ricardo, grown in Leica. My other dicky eye that I told you I'll find, the leaf is more plumper, it's because it has roots already here. Grown in Fluval. There's a new stem right there. Hoya Dekiai. Next up is Hoya New Guinea Ghost Nicholas Soniai. Hope I'm saying it right. Hoya New Guinea Ghost. Grown in Fluval as well. Hoya New Guinea Ghost. Next up is Hoya Diversifolia with a little splash on it. Hoya Diversifolia. Grown in Leica. Hoya Diversifolia. All right, guys, here's my Hoya Red Buttons. Grown in Leica. Hoya Red Buttons with a little bit of splash. There's some newer leaves there. It just put out this long vine here with this leaf, two leaves here at the bottom. Another one coming in right there. Hoya red buttons hey okay guys that's it for my hoyas stay tuned and i'm going to come back we're going to pot up this philodendron pink princess <music>
So I'm gonna miss my plants and then I'm gonna end this video. My rib salads also love to be missed. I got these little prop vessels from uh, propagation vessels from Tonkadales. Only paid $12.99. If you like some, go check it out.